Is the rowan tree poisonous? Well, let's find out from a Western and a traditional Chinese medicine perspective. So first of all, we're talking about um, Sorbus acuparia. This is uh, the, the gene and the botanical name, so you know what we're talking about here. Rowan is, not, is often called mountain ash, but it's not an ash tree. Totally different plants, but they have leaves that sort of look like the ash, and they grow way up in the mountains, hence the name mountain ash. The berries, edible, used for jams and jellies and liqueurs, um, and the bark and leaves are also edible, but just not used quite as often the bark is used. Rowan berries have a really strong taste, right? These are astringent, they're bitter, they're tart, um, but they're wonderful as chutneys alongside lamb or game dishes, you know, traditionally. And of course, in Scandinavia, it's very popularly used to make bilberry pie. Where the toxic or poisonous question comes in is because the raw berries contain a highly toxic parasorbic acid compound that once it's heated turns into a beneficial sorbic acid. No problem, you can eat it. So you gotta heat these puppies up um, and freezing can also help uh, degrade and reduce the toxicity. Um, but once they're cooked in jams and jellies and syrups and all these different ways to eat them, uh, they uh, release their incredibly high levels of vitamin C and benefits the, in traditional Chinese medicine, um, the bark and berries are, are made to tease because they're very good for treating leucorrhea and urinary tract infections, um, diarrhea, right, clearing damp heat, um, nausea in the West, um, the bark, um, and berries are used for treating hemorrhoids, uh, wheezing, asthma. And this is a plant that has a deep, deep Norse and Celtic tradition as a very sacred plant um, for uh, increasing psychic capacities, uh, st um, stimulating your inspiration. The bark was used in early America to help fight fevers, especially those associated with like malaria and those kinds of things. Native Americans used to eat the bark. So prepared properly, you don't have a problem. Not prepared properly, you are not going to be feeling good eating these berries if you're out in the wild and wandering around. Find out more about how you can be taking advantage of rowan um, as a food, as a medicine, and as something that can be opening up your psychic abilities and your spirit life. Join us in our Healing Herb Health session. I hope to see you there and be healthy.